Hi everybody, PyChan here, and on today's video, we're gonna be um, talking about the series QQ Sweepers. And yes, I do know that I only have books two and three here, but I already turned in volume one to the library, so... So, <laughs> I... Since I don't have the one that, since I don't have the first volume, I'm gonna, I kind of can't show that to you guys, and sorry about reaching over here, he, he's wanting to be a little butt. There. Okay, now that he's out of the way, <laughs> um, I know for a fact that I'm probably going to get into spoilers for this, for this series, so... I'm gonna do this right now so that so that you guys won't yell at me. Warning. Spoilers are ahead. Alright. Well, with this series, there are a few characters, but I'll talk about the main two first. The first one you get introduced to is the the girl Fumi, and again, I forgot her last name, even though I just finished reading this series. So we'll just call her Fumi. <laughs> and when you first meet her, she is she goes to an abandoned school to this really nice pretty clean room and falls asleep finding and she winds up finding a door that she's not that sure about well she soon she soon finds like I think the next night or what a, well she's actually woken up by the other character with him being mad at her for sleeping there. So she winds up going to school and all that. And things happen where some things happen which I'll get into a little bit more when I talk about the story where she winds up becoming what's known as a sweeper. And she has this bright kind of bubbly, you know, kind of bubbly personality that you think is hiding a secret, which in her case it actually is, which is a pretty sad one. But her dream, and this is the only thing that's pretty much been keeping her sane, is to find uh, her Prince Charming so that she can pretty much live like a Cinderella life, a rich husband and all that, like I said, Prince Charming, and live happily ever after. Well, she does wind up going to live with the next few characters that I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to at least talk about one, but um, wind up going to live with them in their mansion, but she lives there as a maid. And I'll talk about other stuff that happens with that when I talk about the next character. So she winds up going through that and she winds up ha she winds up pretty much being sort of a natural at the sweeper thing and her her Pretty much her secret winds up coming out towards the end of this little series, which I will explain something that goes along with that afterwards. Well, now that we're done talking about Fumi, we'll talk about the character Kutaro, which one of his nicknames is Q, which is where I got, which is where I think they came up with the name QQ Sweepers, the Q part of it anyway, and then the Sweepers is the profession. Well, he's kind of a social outcast or anything, kind of not good at crowds, but he is a whiz at cleaning and actually helps her. 
And his family, he comes from pretty much a long line of sweepers or help or a clan that helps people get rid of bugs that cause people to like be mean and all that. And in extreme cases causes their death or them to commit suicide. And as it goes on, he, he, when he was younger, he was in love with this girl and she wound up going, having to go away through the door that I mentioned, which leads to the inside and she never came out. So he believes. So 10 years goes by, he is pretty much a wreck through the whole thing, not wanting to get close to anybody. Then he winds up finding Fumi, she winds up going and helping them, and then through it all, he winds up, he winds up really believing, and I think this too, with what I've read, with having read the series, that she is actually his friend that he had when he was younger, her name was Fuyu, Fumi Fuyu, sounds really similar. But I'm going to go back to, so talking about that a little bit, I'm going to go back to Fumi for a minute. The thing about her is that she can only remember the past 10 years. So there is a very big possibility that she is his old, his old friend, that she is Kutaro's old friend, Fuyu, which, which whether she is or not, he winds up falling in love with her for who she is now, which I think is great. So, oh, I need to figure out what the next guy's name is, which is um, Kutaro's brother, by the way. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's see. Oh, and I just found out what her last name is. It's Nishioka. I like I said, I'm just I'm just flipping through here and I I found that. <laughs> So, <laughs> so that's a good thing. Oh, I think it says, oh, there it is, Koichi. There we go. Koichi is the, is Kutaro's brother, like I said, um, and he is kind of a little, is is a little uh his character takes a little getting used to he's he's funny at sometimes and then he's one of those characters that can be really funny at times but serious when he needs to be and he knows when and where to be that way so he doesn't really he doesn't really go through much of a change unlike Kitaro and Fumi does so, I think it might show his change a little bit more later on in the series, but not right now. Which, like I said, I'll talk to you more about that later. Well, the art style, and I am flipping through here, and this is, to me, I think it is going to be a spoiler. To me, I think it is a spoiler. That, that, with right here, I don't know if he's kissing her or if he's just giving her a hug, but that's not how the art style is most of the time. I'm gonna flip to one that, well, actually, 
I know where one of my other favorite scenes are. Right here. Here's a good view of how the art style is normally. And up here she's laying on his chest after finishing a very strenuous sweeper mission. So. So. So there's that. And I, it's, it's an art style that you don't really see much of in manga and stuff like that. Or at least not in ones that are kind of like a fantasy love story, but it kind of brings a little bit of realism to it. Now, with this, I think this series right here, the QQ Sweepers, would make the way that it leaves it off, and this is all of QQ Sweepers. There is no more, but like I said, I'll explain that more when I get to the story, or even my, when I give it a rating. It is, I think this would make a very good anime, but this itself would only, would be good for, and I mean all all three of them would be good for the first season of an anime. I, in my opinion, it trans it would translate pretty well to that. And with the with the story that's around it, if they, I I know they would probably change a few things, but I don't think they would need to change much. Now, the story, like I said, it starts out with her going there, finding this nice, clean room, pretty, falling asleep, and Kutaro finds her, well, Fumi, and then Kutaro finds her the next morning. There is some stuff that happens and all that. Find out, come to find out that she's pretty much homeless, but she finds a way to go to school, which props on your girls, stay in school. Um, but she finds a way to stay in school, which for them in high school, at least in the manga, I don't know how it is in manga and anime, I don't know how it is in real life, they, you have to pay to go to high school. So she is working to get herself through school, which props there, girl. You go for it. You go, girl. So, it winds up going through, and when she goes back the next night, it is filthy! Because these guys are partying there, and she comes to find out that Kutaro cleans it up every day. Because that's kind of like his special thing, and that, and where the door winds up popping up, the reason why that does is that's where it leads to the inside and all that and it's that's just something that would be easier for you to read the books to explain. So she winds up helping this guy, the guy that was trashing the place without really meaning to, to help him and it goes through that. And that's in the, they wind up completely helping him in the first book. Well, in the second book, well, and their, and her and Kitaru's relationship starts, it starts getting deeper. You can tell. Even though he is still a freaking sourpuss to her. And then in the second, in the second series, they wind up helping somebody else again. And like I showed you in this, they get even, they get closer and all that. Heck, he actually convinces her not to go anywhere. But in that, she 
believes she's cursed, which is why she was living on her own and all that. Nobody wanted her or anything like that, which is actually really sad, poor girl. But you, but she's still, I, I still gotta say, I give her major props for still going to school. And it goes through where she does, she winds up helping them and all that. So, so it's never, it, and then it's, kind of told not exactly but it's pretty much said why people think that she has a curse on her and that's that some um bug handlers or something the ones that are causing all the problems with that they have to clean up for are have been to pretty pretty much it's kind of insinuated that they've been tormenting her the whole her whole life and making her be and pretty much making her be sad you know no friends or anything like that and you also come to find out that she is going to wind up being what's known as a queen which a queen can either ca cause great destruction or great healing and then, and then, like I, kind of like I showed you at the end, Kutaru's like, I'm not going to leave you no matter what. And then a little excerpt from the back here, which is kind of funny. At least I think it's kind of funny. Is, um, talking about Fumi is like, but will this girl become a queen? There is no knight at her side, only a boy who's very good at cleaning, which I think is kind of funny, but very fitting. Now, like I was saying before, this is the this is the end of QQ Sweepers, but I will read you this little afterwards thing here. Oh, hi. I know it's a little sudden, but we've reached the end of QQ Sweepers. Thank you for, thank you for reading it. Hmm, I can't, I can hear people going, what? But that wasn't a real ending. I'm sorry, I understand why you're annoyed. Actually, the story's continuing under a new title, Queen's Quality. So it's going to look a little different, but the story's going to keep, but the story's just, but the story just keeps going. I don't really understand the reason for all this, for all this unusual change, so I can't explain it. But I can tell you it was an unusual, an unusual and big opportunity for me. This is coming from the author, by the way. So I can't turn, so I couldn't turn it down. I'll work even harder from now on, and I hope you'll keep reading about what happens to Fumi and Kyutaro next. And then it has Kiyosuke, signed by Kiyosuke Motomi. I think that's how you pronounce it, but yeah. So, so this series is continuing under the name of Queen's Quality. So with the manga QQ Sweepers itself, I will give it, I would say, oh, I actually really enjoyed this one. I would say uh, an 8 out of 10. I know I usually give pretty high ones, but I, I know for a fact I have not given a perfect 10 out of 10 yet. That one stayed for a really good one, which I haven't found yet. So, yeah, I'll give it, I'll give it that. And... If you guys are wondering, you know, yeah, it's like, yeah, you only do one, since you did that month of the manga, you've only been doing one manga a month. You don't read that much anymore, and let me show you guys something. 
Oh. As you can see, I've got quite a few manga checked out here from the library. And just so you know, this whole stack will probably last me about a week. Maybe a little bit longer, but about a week sounds about right. So, <laughs> so don't get it for those manga lovers out there that are wondering about that. Don't get discouraged. It's just that the anime are a bit easier for me to watch and get the reviews of. Okay, now that I've got that cleared up for anybody that was wondering, I'm going to get my little show and tell thing here, which is kind of a spur of the moment thing. This, as you all know, I showed you one of my Judar plushies before. Well, this is the other one, and his hair was tacked like this tacked around like this but his hair was actually started coming apart so I unhooked it and glued it and I just left it like this because I kind of liked it like it better without it being tacked or if I did I would tack it right here at this thin part because I was really afraid that it would come undone so and this plus, this Jira plushie, just like the other one, I got off of eBay, so I can't tell you exactly where I got it. I think I got this one for about, oh, I think 20-something bucks, and that Judar was like 30-something bucks, plus shipping, maybe. But other than fixing the his hair, I haven't had to do any real fixes on it, and unlike that one, I like the way... This, the pants on this plushie was done better because it's actually, the plushies, it actually has the legs here stuffed really well underneath the loose fitting pants. So that's how I know you can do that. And like I said, when I do one of him, which I am going to do, that's what I'm going to do. I ha I'm going to have the legs underneath it, underneath, stuffed pretty well stuffed well like I normally do, and then have the pants over it. The only thing is, is that, yeah, the eyes here are pretty, but they're just, like, they're just like the rubber things on there, which after a while, I know this from experience, that will come, that will start to come off after a while. That's why with the plushies that I do, I want to I want to actually just stitch the face on or sew it on like I did with the um, Sans plushie so and it even had the little detailing in there of the jewel so that is pretty good for on such a small plushie I'm not upset that on here he only has three bands which in the anime and on the manga and in the manga which on manga I'm up to chapter 300 and something reading the manga by the way, by the way if you were wondering so I have been keeping up with that so with this plushie being so small I'm not upset that they got the number on the arms and around the neck wrong if if they had gotten it right, they would be like, you'd hardly be able to see the difference. Or at least right for my standards. With me, it's five around the neck and ten around the arms. For other people, it might be different. So, he's going to go back. Gonna Oh, and he's got this little string so that you can hang them up if you want to, like, use them as a big Christmas ornament or something. So, that's it for today, everyone. And, as always, my DeviantArt and Twitter account will be down in the description if you want to check me out. And, like, comment, and subscribe for more videos coming soon. Well, thanks, everybody. See ya!